Hey guys, this is Mia from Output. In this video, we'll go over the new features available in Arcade version 1.2. Some major updates include the brand new Arcade feed, quickly cycling through kits from the main page, and auto key and tempo detection for user loops. Let's dive in. Right out of the gate, we've updated how you navigate to the browser. We've added a toggle to switch between play mode and browse mode here. You'll notice that while in browse mode, the keyboard slides away to give more space for results, a common feature request from our users. The biggest change to the browser in version 1.2 is the addition of the feed page. This is a one-stop shop to find newly released content, ready-to-use kits, as well as links to useful tutorial videos and blog posts. The different cards act as shortcuts to other areas and lists in the browser. You can preview, download, and load kits directly from the feed as well. If you'd like to see the full list of kits, click the See All button. This feed is dynamic and will change over time, so make sure to keep checking back for new sources of inspiration. We've made extensive improvements to the browser in Arcade and understand that scrolling endlessly through lists is not the best way to make music. You can now quickly navigate through the downloaded kits from any list, line, or search without ever leaving the main page. Once you've loaded a kit from the browser, Arcade will take the downloads in that list and have them queued up and ready to go. You can cycle through those kits by clicking the left and right arrows. This allows you to stay in the groove with full access to the macro sliders, keyboard, loop edit pages, modulation settings, and mixer while cycling through a list of kits. To get a quick look at what kits are coming up next, just click the kit name to access the drop-down list. From here, you can load any of these kits, jump directly to the line that any of these kits belong to, or jump to the full list of kits in the browser, including those that haven't been downloaded yet. Remember, anytime you load a new kit from the browser, a new snapshot is taken of that list and populated in the drop-down. That snapshot remembers exactly what tags were selected, what was in the search field, and the sorting of the list. So clicking Go to Full List of Kits will bring you back to that exact list you loaded the kit from. You'll also notice that clicking the currently loaded kit name will reveal the buttons to save or create a new kit here. We're very excited to announce that using your own loops in Arcade has become even easier and more seamless than before. We've removed the need to input all the key and BPM information manually. Simply drop single or multiple loops onto the keyboard or into the browser and Arcade will automatically analyze the audio to detect the key and BPM. Now you can change your key and project tempo and Arcade will handle the rest. You're still free to make changes on your own if something's off, or if you want to edit the settings. Any new loops that are added will be temporarily marked green for your review. One benefit of doing this in the browser is the ability to select multiple loops and batch edit the info for them all at once by selecting Edit Metadata from the right-click menu. Selecting multiple loops itself is a new feature in version 1.2, and it's not just for editing the key and BPM information of your user loops. You can also select multiple downloaded loops to drag them all to the keyboard at once. Select the loops while holding down the Shift or Command keys, then start dragging and the keyboard will appear. Along with other major updates to the browser, we've also fixed a number of bugs and beefed up the search and filter features to give you better results when looking for kits and loops. Speaking of search and tag filters, while viewing the kits in a single line, you are now able to filter by tags and text search. We've added individual preset menus for effects, modulation, and modifier settings. Sub-presets are a great way to quickly change sounds and speed up your workflow in making new kits. That just about summarizes all the major updates in Arcade version 1.2. If you haven't updated yet, you can do so now by either clicking the link below in the description, heading over to your account at output.com, or directly from your Arcade browser if you already have version 1.1. If you haven't tried Arcade at all yet, you can do so now by going to output.com slash arcade and downloading a free trial. Thanks for watching.